Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is another short video about NetSuite. Uh, basically, I will show you how you can run a safe search. So as you can see on the top, it's pretty simple. You need a search module and all you need to do is pass the internal ID of the search or the save, save search. So you can type in your number there and that will load it into your object search. Now to run it, you need to use your variable run this function run and then we're going to go through each uh, row. So as you can see here, each function result. So inside of this loop, uh, we're going to get some values that you have in your search. So in my case, or this example, I want to get that net amount. So that's what I'm doing here. Then on the next value that I want to grab is the transaction number. So this could be the, your sales order, PO number, item fulfillment, invoice number, things like that. Uh, the next thing I want to get is the memo. But you can do different things on your side. And the next thing I need to do is, in my case, I want to know if, for example, this order that I'm looking for, uh, the value, the net amount. I want to know if the net amount is greater than zero and the status reference, which I'm not even looking up here, but you can do the same thing here. You could just copy this guy, paste it, and just do this one the same way, and just look it at that way. I'm not sure what the internal ID is, but let's say that's the one. You could just say status of ref and look it up that way. So that way there's this value does not become an un, doesn't crash. So and then I'm looking for the status needs to be pending fulfillment. And then if that is true, then I take action. If not, then I could do a different type of action here on the bottom. And as you can see at the bottom, the last line is you must return true. Because if you hit, if you return false, then this loop, the for each, this each, is not a for each, but this each function is gonna uh, cancel. It's not gonna run anymore. So make sure you return true to go to the next set of rows in the search. So this is just a quick video a way of loading your safe search, running through them, getting their value, and just returning true, and then you can do other things from here on. And here's an example, you could do an array equals, you can, so you can collect values, you use it later. You could do this, depending on what it is, but you could say array that push, and then you can grab uh, net amount you can do it that way you can push it that way if you're doing one by one or you could also depending on the array that you have you could also say you could also have an uh, an object so just type this and in here we're gonna type uh, net and then you can say net amount you could say a memo, it's just memo. And then you can say, all right, okay. And then once you get out of the, the each, then you have your values in that array. So you could push individual values or in object, depending on what you're doing. So obviously you cannot do both, or you could probably do both, but it's not organized. So hopefully this gives you an idea how you can run your safe search on your switch script. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try my best to help you out. And, and make sure you subscribe so you can get the latest NetSuite videos. Thank you for watching.